What's up, Scorpio? Welcome back. I'm back. You know, we're going to drop some messages. The thing for the collective this month is we're going to see. So these messages are blocked out for this month. All right. Know that we are in Mercury, Retrograde, and Libra. We're going to pull from my deck. Clarify with the CS Tarot. Close you out with a Moonology. So general message, guys. Take what's for you. Leave the rest behind. Any event, like, comment, share, subscribe. Equal exchange with your girl. So our energy. So we're going to get into this. Something happened back in July, Scorpio, possibly with an Aquarius or, you know, some sort of healing communication or some sort of dream. Yeah, some sort of message or communication that you got that like, like beamed you up. Yeah, uh, we got Isaiah 54, 17. All right. No weapon formed against shall prosper. 222, two, two, you guys are making decisions that are putting you in alignment. All right. Um, somebody trying to set y'all up. Okay. Make wise decisions. Somebody trying to set y'all up. So, let me write that real quick. I feel like that's what this is about. Somebody trying to set y'all up, Scorpio. So, let's see. Let's get some messages out here, Spirit. What we got first card out. Initial C-I-O-U. Numbers 4, 5, 6, 9. All right. Underneath the deck, we got a Libra. But that's also law. That's justice. You know your rights here, okay? And, like, I'm I'm seeing with the CIOU, like, yeah, somebody owe you. Like, I feel like you owe somebody. Or it's like karma coming back to somebody. Whoever tried to set you up, like, you getting to pay it back with that Libra energy. Other messages we got here, spirit. But that also could be the initial of somebody's first, middle, last name. They street name. They city name. They place of employment. Four, five, six, nine. They could be born in April, May, June, or September. You got I'm focused on me. You're focused on me. Somebody focused on the wrong thing. With September, Virgo, Libra energy. So you could be dealing with a Libra, heavy, okay? And the last card is bottom of the barrel. It's black and white. It's clear as day. It also could be somebody who is of opposite race of you or looks, you know, completely like y'all night and day type energy here. Somebody hating. All right, straight the hell up, and they trying to set you up. This person's bottle or barrel, they're trash as fuck. Call it how I see it. So, yeah, we split the deck. We got the Ten of Cups here. Somebody's upset. They're jealous about, you know, how quickly you can move on, how you're able to become stable. Yeah, with that Eight of Cups, you done moved on quick from somebody, and they're upset about that shit. Like, very upset. All right, Scorpio? Very, very upset. You already know who this is. Pisces Virgo possibly a Gemini could be their moon sign also heard their sun sign yeah you making some decision here you made decisions in your life you started holding back your energy from people pulling back because things started getting confusing or you started seeing that people was trying to like pull a wool over your eyes what's the CIOU for Scorpio, clarify this energy, please. Those numbers, 4569, may also be in their street address. Like, what the address start with? Yeah, we got the town on the verse. Yeah, see, somebody, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, somebody tried to set you up, but I feel like it didn't bounce back. With the magician, yeah, somebody tried to manifest some nasty shit in your life, but I feel like it came back to them. Yeah, Six of Wands in reverse. They weren't victorious. Four of Cups. They sitting there watching. They watching to see if what they threw at you is working. Queen of Pentacles. I said Virgo could be a Capricorn or a Taurus as well with the Ace of Swords. You already know about this. The truth. With the Moon card, this person probably was doing Moon Magic or something like that on you. Manifesting under the Moon. I'm focused on you. Focus on me. Somebody focused on the wrong thing. Yeah, Scorpio. Somebody focus on you and your successes and trying to figure out why they're not being successful. It's because they keep investing all their energy into you, opposing and investing it into themselves. All right. Yeah, with the fool card, somebody is very foolish. Spirit just said somebody's a fool. They're a fucking idiot. Okay. With the two of swords, they're walking blind. And uh, they could have other people, two or three other people with them. Um, but with this justice on her arm, it's like justice being served. They don't even realize that. Like, they're trying to figure out why, like, things aren't working out. But it's like things are working out. Your life is getting fucked up because you're trying to fuck up somebody else. Shit could be dealing with an Aries here. We also got Libra energy. 
Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles, somebody trying to do this, they looking at your money, somebody pocket watching, okay, the devil, all right, they're obsessed with your family, I'm hearing even, somebody could be doing shit to your family, they're obsessed with your family dynamic, how you make it happen, okay, somebody's obsessed, I'm, I'm, I'm eyeing in on the kids, so watch your kids, yeah, somebody don't think it's fair, they don't think that it's fair that you still get this new opportunity, but it's time for them to wake up and see, yeah, the two of swords back underneath could be dealing with a Libra, like I said, that's Virgo with that Ten of Pentacles, we got Aries on that, who could be focused on you, but this person, they need to see why shit ain't working out for them, and why things are working out for you, and I feel like it's because you're blessed, you're highly favored, what's wrong with this person, spirit? They the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, five of swords. They all up in their head and shit. Aquarius energy. Okay? Yeah, you in the background just celebrating. All right? Yeah, this person ain't happy at all with the sun card in reverse. Leo energy. But they also... Actually, it came out... The sun card came out sideways. I typically don't read it like that. But I feel like it's because this person with the seven of cups energy is confused as to why you're happy and they're not. Like I said, and it's because they're bottom of the barrel, they're trash. They need to see that. That it's clear as day. It's, it's it is what it is. Okay, with this Queen of Pentacles, definitely could be a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who all up in their head with that Eight of Swords energy. All right, Gemini energy. But yeah, that's what y'all got going on. You got somebody catching a karma. Okay, somebody tried to set you up, and karma's paying their ass right the fuck back. So, let's get a moonology here, spirit. Yeah, prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus, all right? It's stepping outside of your comfort zone, North Node. So you guys have elevated. You're living in your North Node now. You're doing what you're supposed to do, your life purpose. Somebody, you know, still in a South Node. And look like they about to catch this tower and lose out because they ain't been focused on the right things, all right? So, yeah, that's been y'all reading, Scorpio. I am doing personals. All that's listed below. Holla at me. Peace.